My name is Kate Stevenson, and you're watching The Music Enthusiast. Hi, what's up? I'm Sarah from The Music Enthusiast, and today I'm here with Kate Stevenson. How are you? I am good. How are you? So good. I am super, super hyped to be talking to you. You're releasing your new single, Sick of It, very soon. So yes. how are you feeling? I'm feeling really excited. I, I wrote this one a really long time ago and started working on it in, I think, like this last summer. I finally got around to finishing it, and I'm just really, really excited that it's finally coming out um, this month. Ah, it's March. Happy March. Happy March. <laughs> it's coming out in like 10 days, right? Um, it's coming out in about 17? Like 17. 17. It's coming out on the 18th, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Very I'm soon. so excited. Um, also, just want to say that, like, in the song, there's, like, little, like, sounds that you actually took from, like, your household items. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, like, some, like, clicking of, like, spoons or something and, like, yeah. doors, like, closing. So what was the first sound you made from your household that went, went into the song? The first song sound that the first sound that I made that went directly into the song that's actually a really good question because I just kind of went all in I think it was the drawer mm -hmm. um like the closing of the drawer or the tapping on the table I think they were like I wanted it to kind of all symbolize a chore because oh. the song is about like this relationship kind of feeling like a chore and I'm sick of it mm -hmm. and so I wanted everything to be like desk items and kind of and I, I ended up co-producing um like I recently got in touch with another producer in California to help me with it and he like took the liberty of then like the did it did this like he like hit glasses too so he had the exact same idea and we were on the total same page but I think the first one was probably the drawer oh that's so cool oh my god so fun. <laughs> and I love how it just turns into like this like whispering sick of it at the beginning and then it goes into the whole song and at the mm -hmm. end there's like this huge like guitar like mumbo jumbo like what idea came first was it like the whispering normal or crazy the uh the chorus came first or i guess i would it makes more sense to say like a refrain kind of um the sick of it sick of it sick of it uh it was like the morning after like the drama <laughs> and i was like i need to write a song i need to write a song and um, and I, I remember I like sat down, I wrote a different song first about the situation and it was, it was like, oh, I'm so sad. Oh, I'm so hurt. Pretty piano. And then I was like, fuck that. Sorry for my language. <laughs> but then I, I was like, what am I doing? Why am I like writing like little sad little songs? Like when I'm feeling angry, Yeah. I'm feeling angry right now. And so I, some, I don't even remember how it came to me, but I was just like sick of it, sick of it. And I was like, I got to record that. And so I put that in and I left that in my, in my, like in a logic file for like a month, just sick of it, sick of it, sick of it. And I was like, I'll come back to that when I'm feeling angry again. And lo and behold, <laughs> I felt angry again. And then the like verses kind of filled their way in. In fact, the last verse didn't happen until we were halfway through production. Wow. Um, so that like guitar solo um, and the like really soft part that leads into the fucked with my head part, um, spoiler alert, <laughs> uh, that didn't happen until like we had already kind of had a rough draft of the song and I texted and I was like, Langdon, <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> um, and he was like, this is going to push us back. And I was like, that's okay. I think this is important um and so we put that in and that was the last thing to kind of happen but I think it's my favorite part of the song so I'm really glad that we went ahead and and that he was willing to take extra time and, and help me ooh, do that I'm sorry <laughs> it was definitely worth it like you yelling sick of it mm -hmm. like, how many takes did that take and did you lose your voice I did not lose my voice okay are you talking about the sick of it like yes, that okay. Oh my gosh, that was the most fun I've ever had. I was alone in my apartment. I just set up my mic and I wanted to, I was, it was like method acting. I was like I, thinking about everything that pissed me off. Especially that specific part of the song was like a totally different inspiration from the original part of the song. And so I literally just sat with it and I was like, I'm gonna get as mad as I possibly can. And then I, I took several takes, but I just layered them. 
So I was like, I would like let myself get mad and then go, I'm sick of it. <laughs> and then like, I do it again. Um, and it, it was really cathartic, honestly. Um, but I also did like, it doesn't like, you can't totally hear it, but I was just like screaming as high as I could, it, like notes just to kind of like get that whole feeling. And it just like felt really good. My throat definitely hurt afterward, but worth it. <laughs> I mean, even listening to this song is like a therapy session. Like, <laughs> That's good to hear. Thank you. <laughs> and have you counted how many times you you say sick of it in the song? No, I haven't. Okay. But uh, enough to make someone sick of it. Yeah, exactly. I took the liberty of counting, actually. Really? Yeah, you say it 55 times. No shit. <laughs> That's, oh my gosh. So in case you ever need that, the information. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, 55, 55. <laughs> I, gotta go, I ought to go back and make it 56. <laughs> it's going to come back, like, out, come out even later. So, I mean, you're going to be on tour with Somersault. Yes very soon so how yes. are you feeling i'm so excited i am trying my best to pack um, <laughs> trying to pack trying to practice and do everything but i also just developed a league of legends addiction so i'm trying to balance those two things um but yeah this this room is a nightmare right now but i just couldn't be more excited because performing and traveling are my favorite and driving just my favorite things on the planet and like I'm sure I'll get tired at some points, but like the thought, because me and the other opener, Renata, were driving to every location together. So we're just driving around the whole country. And we both love to drive. And we both love to travel. And we both love to perform. And I think it's just going to be a blast. Are I call the- Ox, though. <laughs> Are there any like, specific spots that you want to like see when you're on tour? I've never been to Canada. Okay. So I'm just excited in general to be in Canada. And I've never been to the Pacific Northwest. So I'm just excited in general to be in the Pacific Northwest. Um, I'm really excited to go back to Austin. Apparently there's like a, um, oh, I don't remember what it is. Some type of tour. I'm very excited to go back to Arizona. I want to hit some more. I want to hit the art museum while I'm there if I have time. Um, Because I didn't get to go when I was there a few months ago. Weeks ago. I have no (laughs) idea. Um, That was random. I just went to Arizona. But um, (laughs) yeah, I'm excited to go back to Arizona. Nothing, if, if you have any um, recommendations on cool things to see in different places, let me know because we'll do. I have no idea. <laughs> we'll do for sure. I wish you're coming to Montreal, but maybe next tour, I'll be there. Uh, maybe next tour. Oh gosh, I'm so excited to step foot in. I don't know. But I also, it might, it might get canceled. I don't know. Cause of... Maybe. I don't know. Because Montreal, like right now, we're like, we're okay for like mm-hmm. after March 14th. Like everything mm-hmm. is going like sort of back to normal. I don't know about any other province though, but yeah. Uh, I don't even, I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> where am I going? <laughs> Toronto. Yeah, exactly. I think, I think they're like, okay. Okay, that's good. Don't Fingers crossed. Me, Cause but- I'm bringing my passport and I expect to go to Canada. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. I heard that you're a huge fan of pasta. Like that's your favorite food, right? Yes. <laughs> what is your favorite pasta? Like shape? Or just like meal, like with the sauce, uh, type of sauce? Um, I like to make bow tie pasta, mm-hmm. drench it in olive oil, and drench it in salt, oh. and then grate Parmesan, grate Parmesan on it super basic but that is like what I live off of (laughs) and it has to be that fresh parmesan like I invest in it I spend a lot of money on it just so I can grate it it's so good oh my gosh that actually sounds amazing like I'll definitely it's really good and I think I make it some special way like I just I got the touch I got the pasta touch during your shows there's just be like a huge bowl of pasta that you've made just like at the merch booth just like whoever wants I should it. I'll like instead of selling merch I'll be like I'll sell like parmesan but I'll scalp so I'll sell it for like 50 bucks <laughs> I'll be like parmesan but like <laughs> special parmesan, special parmesan. <laughs> it'll make your pasta so much better exactly <laughs> my last question for you is who are your favorite artists right now oh my gosh yes that's such a hard one uh Jimmy Jimmy Dean mm-hmm. Um, 
Ice Nine Kills, The Amity Affliction, and Gregory Allen Isakov. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Big Thief, Bob Dylan, all of them. I'm I'm in a phase. I'm going. I'm all over the place right now musically, but uh, those. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I cannot wait to see you live sometime soon. I can't wait for this single to be dropped. It's super, super catchy. So thank you so much for chatting with me. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time. Mm-hmm.